everyone, it's author Sandra Wilson coming from the Kindness Kangaroo Library and we have another story time session today and I bet you've guessed that today our book is about a rabbit. Yes, today it's Little Rabbit Makes New Friends by Senya Markovsky and I was fortunate enough to meet this author at a recent book festival and I so enjoyed listening to her, her story behind her story, what made her want to write the book um, and the process of writing the book and I enjoyed the story so much that I wanted to share it with you as well. This is a great story about friendship, about facing your fears and also about not judging someone before you really get to know them. So there's lots to learn while you're listening to this story. And what's always nice is that when the learning is in the story, it just sneaks in there without anybody really realizing it. All right, everybody, Little Rabbit finds new friends. Somewhere far away, there was a tiny, cute rabbit. Everyone called him Little Rabbit. Little Rabbit loved to play. He played in the high grass near his home every day. There he is, look, he's playing in the high grass. His mom and dad were always outside in the garden, so he played close to them. One day, while Little Rabbit was playing in the high grass, he jumped and jumped. Suddenly, he realized he had jumped too far from his home. How would he find his way back? There he is, jumping and jumping. Oh no, look, he's getting too far away. He started to worry. He had never been alone before, especially in the dark. He remembered that his parents always told him not to go too far away from his home alone. They also told him that there were big animals in the forest that were not nice and could harm small animals like him. Oh no, he's found himself somewhere scary. Little Rabbit thought about what he should do, and then he got an idea. He would hide in the little bushes in the forest until the morning sunrise. He found a nice little spot, and he got comfortable, and he was ready to sleep. Little Rabbit got all cozy, but then he heard some heavy footsteps and crackling branches. It sounded like a big animal, and it sound seemed to be getting closer and closer. He was very quiet, but he did not want to be noticed. But it was too late, and the bear, who was now very close to him, said, Come out, little rabbit. I can smell you hiding in the bushes. Don't be afraid. I will not hurt you. Little rabbit was too afraid to run, so he came out of to face the bear. He started pleading to the bear. Please, bear, don't hurt me. I got lost and I can't find my parents or my home. I thought I would sleep through the night and find my way back home in the morning. The bear said, Don't worry, little rabbit. I will help you look for your parents and take care of you. No one will be allowed to hurt you. Little rabbit couldn't believe what he was hearing, but he decided to go along with bear. Bear started walking, with the little rabbit following behind and both of them called out to his parents. Bear called, Little Rabbit's Mommy, Little Rabbit's Daddy, and Little Rabbit called, Mommy, Daddy, but no one answered. As they were walking, Bear and Little Rabbit noticed a wolf walking toward them. The wolf said, Bear, what are you doing with that cute little rabbit? Bear said, Oh, my friend wolf, I stumbled upon this cute little rabbit. He is lost, and I'm helping him look for his parents. He's too cute and too little. I just had to help him. That's so nice of you, Bear. You know, I'm a little bored. I would love to join you and help you look for little Robert's parents, said Wolf. While Bear and Wolf talk, little Rabbit sat quietly behind Bear. He could not believe that the Wolf was willing to help, too. Little Rabbit was scared and happy at the same time. He was scared because Bear and Wolf were so much bigger than he was, and he never thought they could be so nice. He was happy because he had two big and strong animals taking care of him and helping him. Wolf and Bear started walking with Little Rabbit following behind, and all three called out to his parents. Wolf and Bear called, Little Rabbit's mommy! Little Rabbit's daddy, and Little Rabbit called, Mommy, Daddy. 
daddy. But no one answered. They all kept walking and looking for Little Rabbit's parents. Suddenly, they heard a noise coming from the bushes on the left. They all turned to look and they saw Fox's head peeking out. Fox noticed they saw her and she jumped out in front of them and she looked confused and surprised. Woo-hoo! Who do I see? My two old friends walking with the cutest little rabbit following behind. Mmm, I'm so hungry. Before Fox could finish her sentence, Bear interrupted. Don't you say what I think you're about to say. Wolf and I are helping him find his parents and his home. You, my old friend, can continue on your way. But, Bear, I have nothing better to do. I'd love to join you and Wolf and help Little Rabbit find his parents, said Fox. Bear was hesitant about Fox coming along, but then he said, Okay, Fox, you can come along. You can walk in front of us. That way you won't be able to pull any of your tricks and harm Little Rabbit. And here we go, adding Fox to the group. Fox, Wolf, and Bear started walking, and Little Rabbit following behind. And all four called out for his parents. Fox, Wolf, and Bear called, Little Rabbit's mommy, Little Rabbit's daddy. And Little Rabbit called, Mommy, Daddy. But no one answered. They searched and searched, and it was getting darker. All of the animal friends got tired, and they needed to sleep. Bear suggested they rest until morning in the clearing nearby. Fox, Wolf, and Bear got comfortable in the grass and fell into a deep sleep as soon as they closed their eyes. Little Rabbit was near a big tree. He was thinking about it could be dangerous for him to fall asleep and rest beside these big animals. He was sitting quietly when he heard an owl above him. Hoot! Hoot! Why are you hanging out with these big animals, little rabbit? There, do you see the owl in that tree? Little rabbit said, Hi, owl. I got lost and I couldn't find my way home. Bear found me hidden in a bush and has been helping me try to find my parents. Wolf and Fox joined us and they have been helping too. I'm happy they are helping me, but I'm afraid to fall asleep with Fox, Wolf, and Bear so close. There as he is talking to the owl. Owl said, Little rabbit, I don't sleep during the night. You go to sleep and I will stay awake and watch over you. If anyone wakes up or get close to you, I will start hooting very loudly like this. Hoot! Hoot! And you will wake up. Thank you so much, owl. You are so kind. See you in the morning said Little Rabbit. Good night, Little Rabbit. Sweet dreams, said Owl. It was a quiet night and everyone slept well. In the morning, they all woke up at the same time and Little Rabbit turned to Owl and said, Thank you for taking care of me last night. Come along with us, Owl, and help me find my parents. Owl, Fox, Wolf, Bear, and Little Rabbit started searching for Little Rabbit's parents again. A short time later, Owl, Fox, Wolf, Bear, and Little Rabbit left the woods and walked into a big clearing of high grass. They heard someone calling and they all began walking toward the voice. When they got very close, they, close, they saw that it was Little Rabbit's parents. Little Rabbit jumped up and down for joy and hugged his parents so long and so hard. He turned to his new friends and thanked them for saving him and helping him find his way home. Little Rabbit's parents also thanked Owl, Fox, Wolf, and Bear, and they all had a big group hug before going their separate ways. And since that night, Little Rabbit and his new friends often get together to play and make s'mores by the campfire. What's really fun about this book is at the end, it has a recipe for you to make s'mores as well. So maybe you could sit with your friends around the campfire and make s'mores. Have you ever done that before? Have you sat around a campfire with your friends? Have you made s'mores? They're so sticky and sweet. What I'd like you to do as an added activity to follow along this after this story is to draw me a picture of what you could do around the campfire with your friends. If you've done it before, maybe draw something you're doing. Did you sit to sing songs? Did you tell scary stories? Did you roast some hot dogs? 
If you haven't done it before, use your imagination and come up with what would be really cool to do while sitting around the campfire. Remember, it has to be safe. You can't run around because a fire is very dangerous. So think of a safe activity and draw a picture. And I'd love you to send it in to me um, through my website at www.quiteacharacter.ca. So again, I hope you enjoyed the story of Lab Little Rabbit Meets New Friends by Senya Markovsky, and I will put the link underneath this video so that you can get a copy of it yourself. All right, everybody, I'll see you next time in the Kindness Kangaroo Library for another story time session.